Hello community! Today we're gonna have a look at GeoVision when we have the data in a Panda data frame or in a CSV file. Now we do all of this in Colab, in a free Colab notebook, and we use a free and open source software, it's called Plotly. In Colab we just say pip install upgrade Plotly, and we have here version 5.10 of Plotly, and it is October 2022. For our functionality, we just need another line. We take the Plotly Express version of Plotly, and we have here now the possibility to work with column-oriented matrix data or geographic data. And after 2D and 3D data sets, and after I showed you in my last video about animation, if you have the data in a panda data frame time series, now I'm gonna show you GeoVision. Now, GeoVision is beautiful and it is so simple. Again, we take from the Plotly Express data set, we take some data that have been prepared for us. Yeah, we can say data there, of course, just have a look at this data. It's a panda data frame with, come on, we have 240 rows and four columns. And we have some latitude and longitude coordinates. Then we have some information about car hours and about peak hours. And as you can imagine, we want to show now this on a geographic map. Now with uh, Plotly Express, you have here the scatter map box. I hope you are familiar with this. And if you choose the simplest map box style, you can see here we have an interactive representation of our data spots. You have here, if you hover over the data points, the information that is available in our Panda data frame. But of course we are interactive, so you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you see here, looks like we are in Canada. Yeah, Montreal, okay. And then you can zoom in and the card that you have here is a very simple free card. You do not need any key for this. Now, if you wanna go for an open street map, for example, easy, we have absolutely the same commands. Plotly Express, scatter, scatter map box, the data file, you have your data in. And as you can see here, Let's make it a little bit bigger. We have the auto scale functionality in Colab, so beautiful. You do not have to do anything with matplotlib, inline, or anything at all. All gone are those days. We are in Plotly 5.10. So you can see here, we can zoom out, we can zoom in. This is done live here on a Colab notebook. So you know where we are. We are in Canada. And we have here our data sets, if we look at this specific, oops, sorry. And if you say, hey, can I make this a bigger window whatsoever? No problem at all. I'll show you in my next video how to optimize this. But this is just about the functionality that I want to show you what you can do with this if you have here uh, OpenStreetMap as a behind map. Now, if you're going to say now, Oops, this was my OpenStreetMap. Sorry, this was my OpenStreetMap. Jesus. Jesus, I tell you. Yes, here we go. Ah, here we are. Here's Montreal. Yeah, almost 3D. Yeah, nice. So here we are going. Because the last one was the Carter Procitron. Yes, so here now with the OpenStreetMap, you can zoom around. You have your data. This is great. Now, if, as you can see here, there's almost no terrain information and you're going for, I don't know, a run or you have your, your mountain bike ready, well, there's also a terrain map you can call with Plotly Express Scatter Map Box for free. You do not need any key. You do not need anything. This is just nice. So let me show you this. We have an auto zoom functionality. If you zoom out a little bit, and you see here we have a geocoding where you see all our data points in this specific area. And if you zoom out, yes, you guessed it, we are in Canada. So great. So whatever your card material you choose, whatever card material you want to have, the view you want to have, how you want to position it, how deep you zoom into this, you have all your information. Next step. Yeah, yeah. Their map 
box maps and geo maps and they are tile based and they're outline based maps whatever you prefer now as a highlight i think this is very nice we have here the data in a csv file so we say panda panda data frame read our csv file it is by uh, github on um, plotly and we have here the top 1000 us city with their geo geo coordinates and then what we say plotly scatter map box show us the us city this is our panda data frame now with the coordinates latitude longitude the name of the city and if you hover over the data you get the information of the state and the population of the state you can have a color you specify this is fuchsia you can have a zoom and a height and whatsoever and then as a map layout you use the national map from the government ArcGIS and let's have a look at this takes a little bit of time gets catches all the data and here we are have a look at this of course you have here interactive all your data points that you're interested in and we can oops sorry sorry this is my old laptop we can zoom in to whatever you like whatever how far you want to zoom in this is an, an free a free card if you got here at pan let's do some panning here maybe i can reach the ocean okay take some time where's where's my ocean this is real-time colab notebook and you have a gis on your colab notebook this looks like a city this is like a city let's zoom in okay suppose this is the maximum zoom we can get for a free map here so as you can see you have 10 line of code you have here all the US city the coordinates and you have a public available map from the United States geological survey and you can do whatever you like with this data set and it is of course available all over the world and if you say hey let's have here a look at Hawaii yes here we go and you know the, the nicest here is of course not the main one where where is our CAC observatory uh, you can find the Keck Observatory somewhere here. Should be, you know, it's a little bit more in the north, somewhere over there. Uh, okay, whatever. Well, yeah. You get the idea. And then, of course, you can say, okay, okay, this is a little bit too much if I take the global data. So, yeah, let's take this one with the OpenStreetMap. This is called figure open.show. So, figure open. Let's just mark this and say here if i want to save this now for html conversion i take my specific figure i write i say write html canada interactive my file is generated i have here now canada interactive i can download the file takes a little bit longer because all information is downloaded for the interactive version and if I now click on open, you can see I have here my data points. All the information of my data points is available. And of course, since it's an OpenStreetMap, you have OpenStreetMap functionality. In a file you can send per email, you can put this file, this HTML file on your homepage. You can do whatever you want with this file. All your specific data are available. And if you zoom out, you know exactly where we are. We are in Canada. Great, let's go back. This was just more or less an opening because as I showed you, we are now at the fourth and the last point of Plotly Express, where we had some two-dimensional visualization, some interactive three-dimensional data visualization, some animation of a time series data, and now some geovision data. And the next video will be now not on the express version but on the full fledged plotly version we go for graph objects and we have now the possibility to do a lot of more graphical designs with our data objects i hope you enjoyed this mini series of four videos on the power of data visualization either a panda data frame a csv data file and you have two three-dimensional interactive visualization in your colab notebook 
in one or two lines of code. You need no hardware infrastructure at all, just access to a browser, and you can send off your data visualization in two and three dimension per email and your recipient, your voter, your friends, your press agency is able to open an HTML file just in their browser and have an interactive data visualization, which is great. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit and I'll see you in my next video.